Welcome back Etsy sellers. Today we are going to do a very short tutorial on a brand new feature that Etsy just launched over the past couple of months. It is literally a space telling us exactly what we should be creating to make the most sales for our buyers. Within this tutorial, I'm also going to show you exactly how to utilize certain Everbee features to be able to pair both of the tools together and make it that much more lucrative for your business. So if all of that sounds good, let's go ahead and dive right in. <laughs> All right, so the fun new feature within Etsy that we're gonna be diving into today is called gift mode. So there's actually two different ways that you can find this. One is actually by simply clicking introducing gift mode whenever you type into the search bar something related to gift. Let's do gift for home and you'll be able to see that exact same thing came back up. For every other search that you do that does not involve the word gift, what we're gonna do instead, simply click gift mode at the top of the Etsy search bar. So either one of those locations if you click shop now, it's gonna take you to the exact spot. This is Etsy actually perfectly categorizing things for us that we can spend less time researching and more time creating and selling. So the first thing we can do is as Etsy says, get inspired based on the different types of buyers, gift givers and gift receivers that are currently on the Etsy platform. So we're gonna see the dog lover, the cat lover, the pickleballer, the Zen seeker, basketball fan, etc. You can always come over here and click this button and scroll through the rest of them or click this arrow to get popular gift ideas as well as the browse all button at the end. When you do that, you're going to be able to scroll through so many different opportunities of different types of people and different types of either gift receivers or gift givers, which are just more opportunities of people that we could potentially target with our items. Let's go ahead and just choose the vegetarian. So when we click on that, it's going to show us a couple of different categories of what people are actively looking for who Etsy categorizes as the vegetarian. Herb infuser sets, cruelty-free beauty gift boxes, vegan leather accessories, what people are actively looking for that Etsy's algorithm has again categorized under the vegetarian. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this search open, but I want to do one more search together. And then we are also going to see exactly how we can start pairing Everbee with this power tool. So the first one I'm seeing that I really love is the rock climber. That is more than likely a high demand niche, but probably has a lot less competition than say the newlywed or the mom. This search is actually bringing up Etsy's pick for the rock climber gifts. So if you click show more, you're actually going to see things that are already considered bestsellers or Etsy's pick. Then we're going to see all of those categories again, climbing art print, kids climbing toys, climbing jewelry, and accessory. I'm going to show you three different ways that we can combine gift mode and Everbee together to be able to make the most bang for your buck on your research phase. The first thing you can do is simply click the little Everbee icon on each individual listing. Here is an example of one that is making around $1,400 a month that has 183 total sales. Utilizing the Everbee icon on each of these individual listings makes it very quick for us to see exactly what is performing well in the rock climbing space by utilizing Everbee and GIF mode in tandem. The second thing we can do is go ahead and come over to the Everbee extension and click on product analytics. And once we search entire database, you can see we're almost at 3,500 listings. Now I want to go ahead and filter a little bit to do a younger listing age around six to 12 months. Once we do that, we can see the list has gone down to 2,000. And if we search by monthly revenue, you'll be able to have a much better list of things that are doing well right now in the gifts for rock climber space. Hey guys, I just wanted to stop this video really quick to make sure that you are gaining value from it. If you are, go ahead and comment gift in the comments below so that we can consistently make sure that we are making content that is valuable for you and your e-commerce business. Before we move on to part two of this video, I do want to ask you guys to go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel. All of you are really loving the content Content, you're liking the videos, our views are surging, but the subscribers list are not matching. The math isn't mathing. So if you get value from these videos on a weekly basis and you want to be one of the first ones to know every single time we drop a new tutorial just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get notified.
notified every single time we go live on Thursdays and post a video just like this every Tuesday. The last way that we can use Everbee and the gift mode together is by simply utilizing the Etsy search bar. Under each of the individual gift types, I'm seeing herb infuser sets, cruelty free beauty gift boxes, etc. I like to take inspiration from those and actually start adding those types of things into the Etsy search bar. So Everbee will actually tell me if those are in high demand right now. And I'll also be able to look at the competition. So as you can see, cruelty free beauty gift boxes as a whole, not giving us what I need. So it looks like cruelty free in itself is bringing 800 monthly searches. Beauty gift box is also giving us over 1400 searches. Let's do beauty box. That one's currently at 1900, over 10,000 searches for gift box, gift box for women over 4,000 gift box for her over 8,000, etc. This is how I like to pair both of them together because now we're able to drive even deeper. Now that Etsy and the gift mode has told us that cruelty free beauty gift boxes is currently what they would categorize as a really good gift for the person who is the vegetarian. Now I'm able to type that into the search bar, dive a little bit deeper into the individual pieces that make that long tail key phrase and be able to do so much more research with even more data driven listings that are directly related back to my potential buyer and the things that they would be interested in purchasing. Well, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I do hope it was impactful. Just a quick reminder to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, I highly recommend to also hit that bell icon so that you are notified every time we post a new video just like this every Tuesday. That's all we have for you guys today. We'll see you in the next video.